Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. I'm a lead cloud native IC of custom by Veeam. Uh, by now, I'm already 39 times multi cloud certified, including CKA, CKAD, and CKS. Today, I'm very excited to share with you how you can use the automation to create an ACK cluster and plus also protecting the containers running on ACK cluster. Just one command, 50 minutes. For those of you who are not aware, the ACK, that's Alibaba Cloud Container Service for Kubernetes. Okay, first of all, why Alibaba Cloud? So according to the research from China Internet Watch, as you can see from the screen, Alibaba Cloud is a clear leader, close to 40% market share. Yeah, this is for China, but they also aggressively growing in the rest of the Asia Pacific region. So if I'm looking at uh, the regions across the Asia Pacific, Alibaba Cloud actually is definitely the clear leader. They got 20 regions across the Asia Pacific. The rest of the cloud provider, including Ali, uh, Azure Cloud, Google Cloud, AWS, etc., they are far be behind uh, Alibaba Cloud in terms of the region coverage. Okay, so why Alibaba Cloud ACK? Uh, that's the container service for Kubernetes. So I did some research. First of all, Alibaba Cloud actually they started to offer ACK service back in early 2016. It is about two years ahead of Azure AKS service, but, but it is actually uh, one year after Amazon AEKS and also Google Cloud GKE. So a few noticeable features which I notice is advanced. They do have very good built-in observability, great features and capabilities. So just to share you a few details, uh, so far from what I can see, it's the most complete offering in the market. They did uh, release the first Istio compatible hosted service mesh platform in the industry and also they are the first uh, container product uh, for edge computing in the industry. And plus, they also have the comprehensive uh, hybrid uh, multi cluster management, including manage your cluster from on premise uh, and uh, from all other cloud. Last but not least, uh, they allow you to mix match the workloads. Uh, you might have spot instance and on demand instance so you can mix together so for cost op optimization. So today I'm going to focus on how to automate ACK cluster creation, plus deploy a sample database, plus a custom K10, how to protect your containers running on ACK cluster. So first of all, I will show you how you can you know, build a ready to use lab environment, including ACK PostgreSQL plus K10, just one command in 15 minutes. And once you finish your testing, you actually, you can clean up the whole environment by running another command to clean up the whole environment. Typically less than 10 minutes. So there is a little bit of preparation tasks. So first of all, you need to install Ali in OSS utils uh, command line tools and the configure. So basically you run to uh, the command list here, Ali in config and OSS util 64 configure. That's for the management of the object storage. And after you've done that, you clone the repository from my GitHub page. So that's my automation scripts. And you run the preparation tasks first, you change it to the directory, run rdprepper.sh. So basically we will ask you, uh, you know, access key and a secret key. And optionally, you can customize the cluster name, instance type, region, zone, etc. So what's the command? It is basically simple. It's deploy.sh. That's the command we're going to build the labs. So let me actually kick off the command now. So I switch to VS Code. So this is a, a 
terminal, I got the uh, AECK dash K10. I uh, actually I already cloned the repository. I already verified. I got the Ali in command line tool installed. I got OSS util installed. And I did the clone. All I need to do is just run deploy. So after I kick off the deploy command, so you will see the message here. We are creating an ACK cluster. We're going to set the environment variables and a very important here. So you need to click the link. So if you read the screen correctly, so you copy the whole open API URL and paste to your browser. For my case, I just uh, you know click the link. We're going to launch a browser, and from there you click initial initial call. So I click the link. Uh, it will launch a browser. Actually, he launched it to somewhere else. Yeah, let me bring it here. So once you see this screen, if it wasn't logged in, it will actually allow you to give you the option to log into Alibaba Cloud Console. Once you log in, you just click initiate call. It's in the uh, bottom near the left corner. Click the initiate call. If it's somehow shows in Chinese, you go this button here, international from over here, you can change to English. Okay, so I'm already changing to English. All I need to do is uh, click initiate call and just wait a few more seconds. It will give you some message to say the you know, job finish. Once you see the response code 202, and then you can see the cluster ID, the request ID, et cetera. That means my job is done. So now let me come back to my VS code. And from here, so as you can see from the screen, once you see response to 202 code from the web browser, you come back to the command line, press enter. That's all we need to do, okay? So I'm actually spending quite a, a little bit time to figure out how we can fully automate to create a EK, uh, create an ACK cluster and a plus deploy sample database, et cetera. So right now we're creating the cluster. If I jump to the web console of, of Alibaba Cloud, you can see I log into Alibaba Cloud console. You can see right now I'm building the cluster, the cluster name ACK for your one 1545 that's the timing actually. So you can see right now the status is initializing. So to finish the whole job, it does take about you know 15 minutes. So most of the time actually less than 15 minutes. It could be around 13 or 14 minutes. Uh, while we're building the cluster, you know, I'm gonna pause here. I don't want to wait. Yeah, it does take about 10 plus minutes. Let me pause here and we will come back. So right now we are initializing the creation of the ACK cluster. If I come back to the VS code, you can see we're waiting for completion of creating ACK cluster. Now you might wonder what exactly we are doing right now. So come back to my slide deck here. You can see what we are doing here. First of all, we are going to Created the VPC, created the V switch, uh, and also gateway, the route, etc. Once we've done that, we're creating the ACK cluster from our command line. And after the cluster is up running, we're going to install casting K10. That's the number one Kubernetes backup DR and uh, app mobility software. And then we are going to deploy a sample database. In this case, the PostgreSQL database. And we will create an object storage location profile, the OSS, that's Alibaba Cloud Object Storage Service. And we will also create a backup policy for Postgres. And then basically the backup jobs will be scheduled automatically. And these are all done you know, automatically with just one command, about 15 minutes, the environment will be ready. The time by end of the scripting, you are expecting to see 
your token code, your web link to access custom web console. I will come back shortly. Okay, as you can see from the screen, the total time for casting K10 plus the PostgreSQL plus the policy, it takes four minutes, 18 seconds. And the total time for the whole environment creation, that's 15 minutes, 13, uh, 30 seconds. Yeah, just about you know, 15 minutes. And uh, you might also notice here is a token code. If I double click, copy the token code, and then here is a link. If I click the link, we're going to launch the custom web console. Paste the token code here, click sign in. Once you log in, actually before you can log in, you need to provide your company name, your email address, click submit. So once you log into the custom web console, immediately you can see I got two applications. I got one policy, I got usage and the reports. The one policy I already created here. So basically once you log into the console, you got a PostgreSQL database installed, you got a policy created, it will be scheduled automatically. If you don't want to wait next schedule job, you can click it on once. We can kick off the backup job immediately. So for the purpose of this particular session, we're going to focus on how to automate the whole environment. So I'm not going to spend too much time how you are going to back up uh, the containers, or how you're going to restore the containers. So I will include a few links, uh, which I recorded earlier, how to back up the containers, how to restore the containers. Just to highlight a few stuff here, if I click applications here, you can see my uh, young dash PostgreSQL, that's my test database living store. If I go to the settings here, you can see I've got uh, object storage oss-ap-southeast-one.rencs.com. That's my endpoint for the Ali Cloud object storage service. And it is running in Singapore region. This is my bucket name. So let me come back to my uh, slide deck. So basically, as I said, you run one command. The command is uh, at, you know dot slash deploy dot sh. We're going to deploy build everything from the screen here. So fifteen minutes. Once you've done your job, how to clean up the environment, you just run, you know, dot slash destroy. We're going to destroy the whole environment. We're going to remove the ACK cluster, remove the relevant VPC, vSwitch, et cetera, and also remove all the relevant disks related to the lab, and also remove all the relevant snapshots. So you're not going to be continued charged by Alibaba Cloud. And we will also remove the objects from the storage bucket. So just to avoid some unneeded charges by Alibaba Cloud. So that's how we are going to use one command to deploy, to build the whole environment, and one command to destroy, to clean up the whole environment. So if you're interested to know more about the container backup, uh, how to migrate the containers, previously I had uh, three YouTube videos talking about how you can back up a PostgreSQL on ACK, that's the first link. And the second link is about how to back up the Jenkins on ACK cluster. The last one is about how you can quickly migrate containers from on-premise Kubernetes cluster to Alibaba Cloud ACK. There are a few reference links I included here as well. So you might have noticed the first one is about the automation source code. If you want to check into the details about the, how the automation scripts, you can go to this link. The second link is the official documentation page from Alibaba Cloud. And followed by, if you just want to build a CK cluster from web console or by the API, I've got the two links here to walk you through how to build a CK cluster from web console or from an open API. And uh, there is another link is about uh, how to build the ACK cluster that protected by the API. The last but not least is about the Kubernetes of free training and also custom uh, documentation. Uh, if you are interested to try my 
automation tool. So the first automation tool I built on Google Cloud, six minutes, one command to build a GK cluster PostgreSQL K10. The second one is Azure Cloud, eight minutes, one command, build a similar environment. And the third one is AWS Cloud, 20 minutes, one command to build the EKS Cassandra K10. So uh, the, the previous one, also I recorded the IBM Cloud, 45 minutes, one command to build the OpenShift cluster including OpenShift container storage or OpenShift you know, data foundation and the MongoDB plus Kente. Uh, right now I'm recording the fifth automation tool. So for Alibaba Cloud, ACK cluster, you only need about the 15 minutes. So it's kind of like in the middle in terms of the time, timing, how much time you spend to automate the whole environment. Additional information, uh, it's all from my YouTube channel actually. So my YouTube channel focusing on how to build the Kubernetes cluster from the popular distributions uh, like EKS, AKS, GKE, OpenShift, Rosa, Tenzu, Alibaba Cloud, ECP, HPE, that's HPE Zimero container platform, how to back up the containers, how to migrate the containers, how to build and protect the Kubernetes cluster by the automation. Okay. Uh, the last one, yeah, I want to highlight is, uh, you know, by now I'm already 39 times, a multi-cloud certified, including CKA, CKAD, and CKS. If you want to join me to learn together, here is, you know, my LinkedIn link. Feel free to follow me. You can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, you might be interested to join the Kubernetes Data Management Group or you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So right now, 530 plus uh, subscribers. And I recently just created a new Slack channel, also focusing on the same stuff with Kubernetes data management. So here is a link and uh, my automation source code available from a GitHub page. So roughly around hundreds of clones every two weeks, pretty popular. That's pretty much all I want to cover for today. Yeah, I also included the, uh, my uh, digital badges on the left-hand side. You can see in 24, uh, 12 months, I did the 24 times so multi-cloud certified. And on the right-hand side, in the following six months, I did the 14 times uh, cloud certifications. Yeah, you might be interested to join me to become a Alibaba Cloud MVP, or you know, I'm also recently become a officially AWS community builders focusing on the containers. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to send me any feedbacks or any questions. Have a good one. Bye. I'm actually forgot one thing. Yeah, let me show you how to you know destroy the environments. Uh, if I switch to my VS Code, let me switch to my VS Code. From here, once you've done your testing, you just run the destroy commands. So we will destroy the whole environment, typically in less than uh, 15 minutes, less than 10 minutes, actually. If I come back to the web console of Alibaba Cloud, initially was initializing. But now it becomes running status. Uh, and uh, after the job kicked off, the destroy job kicked off, if you do a refresh, you will see we're deleting the cluster. Basically, we are cleaning up uh, the whole labs. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that's all I want to cover for today. Yeah, I hope it is useful to you. Feel free to send me any you know, questions, comments, feedbacks. Thank you. Bye. Uh,